Okay, so now we're all set to shoot and we're gonna shoot a few frames and then take a look at how playback happens. So over here to the right, you're gonna see this big circle and when it turns red, the numbers in the middle should start moving. We'll click it once and there you go. It's starting to move. We're gonna shoot about ah, five seconds or so, we're good. And I have my first video, it's done. Now I'm gonna go into the playback and I see it right there. And now if I press play, you'll see Moving, it. we'll click it once and there you there you go. It's playing right there. And this is the playback panel. So you can look and see how things are. You can click on the scissors right here if you wanna make any kind of cuts. And that just really just means dragging around and then saving it. And then once you do that, it gives you an option to uh, save it as a separate clip as well. And then you can go in here and color correct and do exposure stuff. You wanna change the exposure, etc. And I just press reset. I don't ever mess around with any of these. I'm gonna use my editor to do them um, in the long run. Uh, when I finish post-production of this video, I'm gonna use my editing tools to do all this stuff. But it's Filmic Pro has them in there if you wanna just use this, so. Um, you, it also allows you to downsample the clip. So if you're trying to maybe just edit a quick clip and you wanna put it up on YouTube or on Facebook Live and it's a 4K video and you're mobile, you don't want to you know, use all that data. <laughs> Uh, maybe it's a, something you're going to go up to Instagram with. So you can now click on 720, which is perfectly fine for Instagram, and uh, set that up there, and it'll downsize the clip. It'll make a downsize sample of that clip. Uh, so you can put that up there. It'll still keep the master file, but it'll do that as well. So that's nice to have. If you click on FP here, it's going to save it to a Filmic Pro folder in your Photos app. So you know, okay, cool, I got it saved in there. I don't have to stress out about it. If you want to get this off of here, you can click on that there and you can save video. It will go over to your uh, photos folder once again, or you can airdrop it. You can message it to people and depending on how big your video is, it'll either downsample it or whatnot. But you can save it to different places. Um, here's my Google Drive, etc. cetera. Um, and we're gonna look at uh, how to save it to some wireless hard drives later on. You can save it up to Dropbox. There's other kinds of things here that you can do. Um, I usually airdrop things to my computer. Um, it just makes it quicker because I'm all shooting in the same place. Uh, but if I'm going to edit on my iPad, it's just nice to have them all here as well. So that's how you work with playback and the playback options in Filmic Pro.